Your Chris 6 weather forecast. Oh, yeah. The rain did come this morning. <laughs> Take a look at this. And uh, this is our Bobby Cam. Bobby, our photojournalist, talked this, took these shots around uh, this morning when it was coming down uh, in buckets and yeah uh, it, it accumulated pretty well in some locations let's take a look at what's going on right now though the satellite radar loop that shows most of that has now cleared the area but there's still some lingering areas of light rain and underneath that you might even be able to see a decent sunset if you look far to the west but you've got a lot of cloud material that's going to be hanging around tonight as well well we made it to 73 degrees today really yeah it was about 1 a.m and then temperatures began steadily to erode and down to around 60 degrees about 9 a.m. But it has not been very warm today in the real world. Uh, a third of an inch of rain at the airport. Uh, I got about an inch and a half over on the east side of town and you can see that's pretty representative there. Naval Air Station at 1.17. Further to the south down in southern Oasis in Clayburgh County, three to four inches of rain with repeated rains moving across that area. Falfurius uh, about uh, half an inch and basically uh, about the same thing at Port A. So the rain has come and it's not left yet. It may think it has, but it's not. It's only the first phase of what's going to be a multiple phase uh, rain event going right into early next week. Look at these temperatures out there, though. We're looking at 50s and even some 40s out across the state. It's pretty chilly. Even down as far as Brownsville, we're still looking at lower 60s, and that's what we've got around here. Upper 50s to lower 60s, milder along the coastline because of the marine influence of course but overnight tonight down into the middle to upper 50s overall but the immediate coastline and not a big warm up tomorrow because guess what the clouds and the precipitation regenerate and we're going to be in the upper 50s to lower 60s except along the coastline in fact if you're heading out to the coastline be ready for that cloudy windy showers even a few thunderstorms out there especially late in the day a high in the mid 60s the water temperature now at 70 I told you yesterday it was at 77 and it dropped to 70. It'll be about 64 by this time tomorrow. With that north wind at 15 to 25 knots, it'll make for choppy to occasionally rough bays and three to five foot seas. The rip current risk is low, but uh, the small craft should be exercising caution out there. Here's the culprit, This the first of two culprits, an upper level disturbance. Notice that the front came down here and chilled the whole state, but Moisture lifted by this disturbance across the area. Now you're going to see as soon as that leaves, the influence of this next system comes into play and spills even more moisture across the area. Notice the timeline. Friday is going to be a, uh, excuse me, Monday is going to be a real soaker here with that axis of instability moving across here. But by late Monday, it begins to clear out and we've got, uh, uh, well, fairly significant conditions of rain. Now we do have fairly light but northerly winds keeping things on the cool side for the next couple of days, but look at this rainfall accumulation. This is in addition to what already has happened. Another four to four and a half inches of rain along those coastal zones, so be ready for that. Tropics are essentially quiet, so let's look at your forecast. 58 with rain, maybe a rumble or two or thunder in the early morning hours, and then your Veterans Day is looking fairly wet out there. Be prepared for that. Have your umbrella handy for your outdoor activities. Continued wet through Monday, and then clearing and warming up as you move into the middle of the week.